Mac punches and a Mac screwdriver set there. Those ones there, 25, 25. So, also picked up this bookshelf, which I just need for the store, and this wood box. Kind of a nice crackled finish on it. Uh, good for firewood. Pretty clean, actually, too. And got a pick and ladder. I've been wanting one of these for a while, and it came up for under 30 bucks, so had to grab it. And uh, this mid century modern lamp. Kind of 70s looking, kind of cool, and a tongue saw. Now, let me dig that out. And got this tongue saw display. Needs a good cleaning and uh, polishing, but uh, not too bad. And a spotlight for a car. And that was about it. Oh, wait a sec. No, oh, we've also got a briefcase. And right here, kind of a cool briefcase. Right there. And in with kind of a bonus lock, it was in with the tongue saw tubes with this piece. This is actually meant for cutting barbed wire during World War II. That's uh, made by ETF Limited, and uh, I think has some military markings on it somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. Right there, 19 something, or maybe it was World War One. These were used. I have to double check that, but uh, anyway, that's what they are for cutting barbed wire. I guess they got used probably on farms because uh, they were handy for cutting barbed wire. Also picked up these. I was bidding against uh, another a couple that uh, uh, wanted something else in the lot. So I ended up buying these from them after they were finished bidding and uh, got them for 10 bucks. They were, they bid to 20 some and uh, I think 22 and they wanted the uh, resin polar bears that were in the lot so they didn't want these so i was able to buy them from them uh, they're local from Verdon, manitoba so i might put them in my own collection i'm not sure i don't think i will actually come to think of it they're kind of bulky so they'll be up for sale but uh, they're advertising perfect circle uh, piston ring parts and uh, some candles for those uh, Swedish angel chimes as well in another lot and then then we got uh, a new old stock cassette player for a car and a new old stock 8-track stereo player for a car so that was pretty good happy about that they were both very cheap five bucks and two bucks so or two bucks and five bucks two bucks for the uh, eight track and five for the cassette or vice versa i don't recall <laughs> forgotten now but either way cheap 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 good ebay items but i'll just put them on the shelf in the store and wait for a buyer to come along and next i got a Get a blaster, a Hitachi TRKW1, and uh, it was a couple bucks. I just kind of bid out of, just on spec, and it turns out, well, there's two available on eBay right now, 
and uh, they're uh, priced at 250 and 350 US. So I don't know whether that's realistic or not. I guess uh, we'll see. There's no sold comps, so who knows? Um, maybe price it at 250 Canadian and hope somebody comes along that recognizes the value of them. All right, and then got some um, yardsticks. Uh, John Deere foam yardstick. I remember them giving these out in the 70s, early 80s. And then there's a Firestone one, as well as a Morris uh, Rod Weeders one. And last but definitely not least, we have a really cool piece. This is a propeller, but not off an airplane. I believe it's off of a snow plane. So yeah, if you uh, check out snow planes on Google and see uh, some of the cool vehicles that are up there uh, propelled by an airplane engine with a prop on it this particular one is made by fudge snow planes out of Mooseman Saskatchewan of all places um, I'm assuming it's for a snow plane I don't know whether they made props for actual airplanes or not but it does have the deck on it for fudge snow planes anyway that's it Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Alright, take care folks.